So that's some beautiful wood right there. So uh, we go, we gonna see if we can get it done. Oh no, he's getting a fresh log. That's awesome. He's getting the whole log. So I'm getting this here fresh. This is fresh cut. y'all welcome to another day on the bus with a brand new life y'all i come to y'all to let y'all know about our woods okay um i know we've been mia for a while but um but we've been working since we've been gone so um what i want to share with y'all today is um the various the various woods we're using in our bus in our bus we're using um pallet wood we're using um uh, old fence wood. We're repurposing wood, y'all. Um, so a lot of y'all, a lot of us, you know, um, can't, you know, um, financing the project is, 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 a, is a problem for a lot of people. So um, we want to share with y'all where, where we got our woods and, and how we're, rep we're, we're repurposing it, okay? So um, y'all, please stay tuned and watch the footage that I'm about to um, show you guys, okay? So y'all, please stay tuned. Here we go. Hey guys, this is James with Brand New Life. Uh, what I'm doing today, it's a little rainy. I don't know if you can see it, uh, but it's a little rainy. So I was breaking these up, but it's starting to come in. It's uh, it's just some uh, pallets. I got some of it done. I got some more. I'm going to use it for some of my designs. I'm going to repurpose some of it and do different little intricate things with it in the bus on the walls and stuff. So, I still got more to do, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to it today. Because it's so muggy. It's it's just draining. It's it's draining. So, those are some of the pallets I got that I'm going to break down. I got two, four, five, right at six left to do for now. And uh, so, I may go ahead and bust this one up since I got started. And call it, call it quits. So, with that said, guys, I'll talk to you in a little bit. She's still coming along, slowly but surely. They say, they say slow and steady wins the race. So, I'm just going to try to stay steady. Not slow, but steady. Okay, guys, talk to you later. So yeah, welcome to another day with a brand new life on huh? on the bus with a brand new life. Y'all, y'all, y'all look. Check it out. Check it out, y'all. Um, I told y'all that I would bring back, um, bring y'all with us when he started on another um panel for the two by ten wall. <laughs> I didn't want to. I didn't want to uh, have to find angles and stuff. So what I'm doing is just applying it like this here, gluing it to this. I put some heavy on top of there to uh, hold it down. Then I come back with my planer and kind of mess with it a little bit where it's not totally even, but still uh, uh, pretty much. And then uh, uh, stain each one. So what she can do now is, this is before, and then when she show you that one in there, that's after. Mm -hmm. So, so that's where I'm at right now. 
So yeah, this is where it starts. You know, I start. I showed y'all the pan, the um, pan. So this is how it starts, and this is the pallet wood, wood y'all. He's using the pallet wood on this one. See, see, still got the nail holes in it and everything. He still got the nail holes in it and everything. So, yeah, he let the glue tack up a little bit. Um, before he puts it on. Alright. So y'all, that um, that uh wood that I told y'all was fence wood. This is it right here, y'all. We're gonna repurpose some of it. They got some back there at the back. See where that guy is back there? See where my hubby is? They going through. He's going through there getting uh, old wood. I'm gonna show y'all this other fence. Let me crank up here. The fence right there, y'all. I'm gonna pull in front of it and show y'all this wood. It is so pretty. It is so pretty, y'all. Let me show you. I'm pulling back there now in our truck. You see this wood right here? So gorgeous. That is some gorgeous wood, y'all. This, I'm, I'm telling you, this camera doesn't do it any justice. Look at that wood, y'all. We're trying to make him give us some of that. But, you know, he, he we don't know what we'll do with it because we got enough wood just for our tiny home. Oh, he's coming to get this pallet wood here. So, this is what he's getting right here. See that? That's that wood. Okay. All right. And th I, I don't think that's pallet wood. I think that's part of that fence. So, yeah. Hey guys, this is James. I'm out at uh, 3C Lumber Company. I'm out here getting me some uh, red cedar. Uh, that's some of the red cedar that's already cut. So uh, he didn't uh, he didn't have enough of the sizes that I wanted. So what he's getting ready to do now, he's getting ready to grab this this red cedar log and cut me some fresh ones. So we get to get a treat and watch him cut this wood. So, you know, he's got a lot of stuff around here. So, uh, uh, okay, there it is. There it is right there. So I'm gonna need, uh, I think, uh, seven more boards for this trip. So that's some beautiful wood right there. So, uh, we go. We gonna see if we can get it done. Oh no, he's getting a fresh log. That's awesome. He's getting the whole log, so I'm getting this here fresh. This is fresh cut. I've never seen this done in person, so this is gonna really be awesome. This is gonna really be awesome. Can I film you you cutting this? 
Yeah. Okay, I'm going to... Uh, All I need is free publicity. If you're I'm going to give it to you. Yeah. I'm going to give it to you. I'm letting them know that I'm at uh, 3C uh, 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 Lumber Company. Yeah, 3C Sawmill. C 3C Sawmill. Yep. We, uh... <laughs> only... Was it a month? Back in February, I had Texas Parks and Wildlife out of here. Okay. And we got some free publicity out of that. I don't know if you watch Lone Star Law. Yeah, sometimes. Yeah, that's yeah. what uh, we're on there on episode 421. Okay, okay. Yeah. I'm going to have episode, to go look. but season four, episode 21. Episode 21. I'm going to have to go look at that. Yeah, we, we caught an owl. He had a broken wing. Oh. They come out and rescued him, took him back to fins and feathers. And okay, was. okay. Say, guys, uh, if you live in Texas and you need some wood, come and talk to this guy. But I'm getting ready to watch this. I've never seen this before. Okay. He's out here learning me something, y'all. As we say in Texas, he's learning me something. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty awesome. Are you originally from Texas? Yes, sir. I was born in West Texas. West Texas. Little old bitty country town, man. Had population something like twelve to fifteen hundred. What was the town? Monday, Texas. Monday. My grandmother grew up in um Borger. Oh, okay. I know what Borger is. Yeah. yeah. My grandmother's Borger and uh grandpa's Roy City. Roy City, yep. He went to uh, he was an Air Force base in Amarillo. Uh huh. During the uh, Korean War. Right. That's awesome, man. Yeah, he met her at a skating rink. <laughs> man, them skating rinks and movies, them drive-ins, yeah. See, I remember those drive-ins. They used to be the be the best there. Yeah. And now you have to go all the way. Where is it, Ferris, to go to the drive-in now? Oh, locally, yeah, off of forty-five. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been. There's like four four screens out there. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, man. it's nice, man. I've had friends that have been and they talk well about it, but I've never been out there. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta just go out there one day, man, and just uh, uh, check it out. So we get ready to see some stuff, guys. We get ready to see this wood get cut. Let me get the back of your shirt on here. Let me get the back of your shirt. Okay, this is his number and everything. This is all his information. 3C Sawmill Company established in 2015, Scurry, Texas. We measure twice and cut once. <laughs> yep, we got a okay. little email or website there, 3csawmill.com, and we get on there and see what kind of services we offer. And they even if it fits your uh, portfolio or your criteria. They even build stuff. Yep, build furniture and all kinds of stuff. Cradle to grave approach. I, I know like, that's right. I know people don't like that term, but. You know what? That's the term I use. Cradle the grave. Turn a log into something pretty. I'm getting this whole process, guy. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever seen this done. Really? Yeah. I think I'm one of the furthest sawmills west. Uh, on the East Texas corridor. Uh huh. I don't know if there's any others. I haven't been I haven't been privileged enough to find if there are any. Well, I haven't found any. The closest one that I found was in Cleveland. Cleveland is south. Isn't yeah, it? south. But on this court in this corridor here, you're the only one that I found so far. Yeah. Getting ready to rock and roll, guys.